Guys, can we talk for a minute? Like, j just me and you, okay? Just confidential. No one else has to come into this conversation. It's just me and you, all right? Let's talk for a minute. Let's talk about Devin Fassell. Every single time that his name is, is, is brought up, nowadays, it's about a trade or, you know, some type of package that the Spurs could put forward. Now, this is clan from the past. Like I said, this, this, this video is recorded several days before, but I did want to at least just put that out there. Now, if he's gone by now, once again, this is irrelevant and it is what it is, but I at least want to talk about it and give him some type of, uh, some type of credit. And that means giving Brian Wright credit. Devin Fassell is a guy that has a lot of things in his arsenal and he's actually achieved something that not many Spurs rookies ever achieve. And that is getting a substantial amount of minutes. Now, statistic wise, you'll look at it and you'll say, oh, you know, average 40%, 35% from three, and only five points, 17 minutes a game. Keep in mind, this is a Spurs rookie. The fact that he played 62 games in the season at all and averaged 17 minutes speaks volumes of who he is as a player. I think that we focus so much on dogging out Brian Wright that we're not willing to give any type of credit where credit is due. I think that maybe even him being included in some of these trade talks might be in turn a way of showing that he has value. But honestly, I think that this guy can be something special and we're so focused on the Lonnie Walkers, the Keldon Johnsons, because they're, they're a little more flashy. They're a little more in your face. And Devin Fassell is a very, must I say, boring player. But the thing about him is, as soon as he got on the, as soon as he got on the team, as soon as he got some minutes, you could see right off the bat that he was NBA ready. He was playing tremendous defense. He was locking guys down for the most part. And he has a sweet, sweet, sweet jumper. And I, I just think that it's really unfortunate that a lot of us don't give him credit where credit is due. Like I said, the stats are, you know, average. They're not, you know, crazy in your face. But if you watch any of the Spurs games, you will see that the dude is special. And I think that's probably the problem that's going on right now. A lot of Spurs fans after a bad season, and I'm talking about last season, the last, last season, um, and not making the playoffs. And then this season, people weren't really that excited, you know, with LA leaving and everything. So I think a lot of people kind of ignored the games. But with that being said, I think that they kind of missed out on some important pieces. And one of those pieces are Devin, is Devin Fassell. Another thing about him too that I just want to mention is he is a lottery pick we don't get a lot of those and er almost every single time we get a lottery pick is something great um but with that being said he has some type of fearlessness about him unfortunately i don't have any uh clips that i can show like gif clips or whatever um because he's just not popular enough but i think that people just see him and they assume that he's just okay but i gotta say that i think that he's gonna be a very very fine player now, will he be a superstar? I don't know, but everything about him is pretty promising. And I don't think that the Spurs, and if they've already done this, I'm too late, okay? This is clan from the past, I'm sorry. In the future tense, whoever we got, I'm gonna be happy with whoever we got, okay? I trust my Spurs. But if, if it was up to me, I don't think that we should get rid of him so quickly. I don't know if he should be included in a package too quickly, because this dude is something serious. And maybe, just maybe, Brian Wright is on to something. So I just want to give credit where credit is due. I feel like he doesn't really get a lot of the love that he deserves because like I said, we focus on a lot of the other players, which rightfully so, but you know, the DJ is more in your face. Um, the Lonnie Walkers are more in your face. The Keldon Johnsons are more in your face, but this guy right here, he's low key, but man, Devin Fassell is good. Like really good. <laughs> So I don't know, just wanted to put that out there, just see what you guys thought about it. If I was the only one that felt like he doesn't get a lot of credit, but we definitely, we're under, we're undervaluing this guy. Like seriously, we're undervaluing this guy. Um, now with that being said, I just wanna go ahead and direct you towards a uh, patron. Um, patron, if you wanna be a patron and support the channel, um, as of today, once again, this is, this, this is claiming in the past, okay? Um, I have uh, a few people you know, a few patrons, about eight. So if you also want to be a patron, it's only $2 a month. I'm not trying to break the bank. It's just, 
to compensate for some of the copyright claims I get hit with because YouTube is silly like that. But yeah, if you want to, okay? It's just out there just if you like what I do and whatnot. So, um, but yeah, I'll get with you guys later. Uh, you stop undervaluing Devin for sale, man. I think that he's, uh, I think he's something special, but I'll get with you guys later. Till next time, deuces. <laughs>